how to build an online business as a teacher. Hey, Mark Nelson here. And the reason I ask that question or make that statement is because I am a high school teacher. And I know what I've been taught or trained to, to do in my teaching career is such a plus in building an online business. Now, what's happening in today's world is many teachers are looking for a way to build a virtual classroom but you can also think about if you could be, if there's a way for you to start building your resources and putting them online and building this online business to be run your own virtual classroom. So I want to talk to you today about what is the best way to build an online business, either as a teacher or if you can look at my hair, right? I'm a baby boomer. And there's so many people that are worried about, well, what are, the, what are we gonna be doing? How do we attack this thing? How do I make extra money? Well, one of the best ways is to have an online business. And one of the best ways to create and put your message out is through video. And I know there's so many people out there that Man, I don't want to be on video, but again, I want to talk to you about this. See, people don't like making videos because they say they're afraid of the camera. Well, the camera I use is a phone, and I'm not afraid of my phone. I'm afraid of me not saying the right things, of what people are going to think. I'm afraid of coming across as not being knowledgeable enough. I'm afraid of, who knows what I'm afraid of, but I'm not afraid of the camera. And see, there's ways to learn how to use this camera. I use my iPhone, always have. Now at times, will I get a better camera? Maybe, will I have maybe somebody shoot a video with me? Maybe, because that's what I'm working with, working on. But at the same time, I've been doing this for quite a few years and I only use my iPhone. I have a ring light. Some people call them a makeup light. Um, but if I, before I bought a ring light, all I did was take videos either outside, in my car, or I made sure I was against a natural light window, so my lighting was good. So when you're making a video, and this is what I want to talk about now, is how to make a video. One is you got to be concerned about your lighting. If people can't see you, they don't want to be there. And if you're teaching in a virtual classroom, guess what? They don't want to be there either. Two, then it's audio. And what I use, I use a little uh, microphone, this little clip-on microphone. It's Rode. I bought a lot of Amazon, R-O-D-E. It's a lapel microphone. And it has this little, if you see this, it has that little thing, this little foam thing on there that kind of protects the wind and my voice from crackling a little bit and other outside things coming in. You can use your headphones for your phone. You just want to have a good audio and good lighting. The next thing is you need to have good content. Now, we start out talking about how to build an online business as a teacher. You know how to make content. You've done it all your life. It's like creating a lesson plan. You know, you're going to talk to the people, whether you're talking to your, your students, your clients, your customers, you're going to develop a lesson plan for them. And that's usually three to five points of what you're going to talk about. But you come on and you talk about the objective of the day how to build an online business as a teacher that's my objective that's what I want to teach today then I introduce myself I'll try to be theatrical which I'm not but I'm trying to be more and more um, when you say I know when I'm in my classroom I goof around a lot sometimes in front of the camera I do but usually what I do is I kind of get real stoic so how do you get people to pay attention to what you're saying? You have to have a great heading. Your content has to be valued. And it's usually talking about three points. So I'm talking about your audio, your lighting, your content, and then be theatrical, not so stoic. Like I can be. Now in the classroom, I'm goofing around all the time. But on a camera, I'm usually sitting or I'm walking and it you just tend to not get up and do much so you got to be 
creative and there's some people that really look good on camera and you will the the, the idea is the more videos you do the better you get because as you start putting them on your YouTube channel or in your Facebook lives or wherever the better you're gonna be in the you're gonna start noticing that uh, how you look on camera and you start making that look better that makes sense so let me let me recap this I, I came on today it, it is uh, like everybody we're, we're kind of uncertain what's going on right now it, we, we don't know what where we're all going to come out of this well i hope you all come out of this well stay healthy but many of us are looking at well how can i contribute what can i keep doing to help this world well start an online business start talking to your students online right so make sure you have good lighting so people can see it smile make sure you have good audio so people can hear you Make sure you have a content plan, right? You have an objective when you're starting out. You go through your content, your lesson plan, and then at the very end, you have a call to action. Where are you going to send them? See, what I do is in every video I put out, I have a link down below for a, a free resource called How to Build a Six-Figure Income. And all you gotta do is click on that link and put your name and email in and you get a great resource for me for free. That's how you do videos. If you're brand new to doing videos. Hey, one, I gotta thank you for coming on today. Be healthy, peace to everybody. What I'd love you to do is hit that subscribe button below, hit that little bell that goes ding. Uh, so you can get notified when I put videos out. I put them out every Tuesday. And I know as the year goes on, I'm going to get better and better. And I can help you grow your online business. Grab that link below to get your free PDF on how to build a six-figure income. Peace out. You take care.